A civil rights advocacy group is asking an area school to stop doing something they say is unconstitutional. Good evening, everyone. I'm Gene Burke. And I'm Casey Wayless. Thanks for joining us. Our Melissa Warren joins us now with more on why this group is concerned about what's happening in a Logan County school. Melissa. Just yesterday, the Kentucky Equality Federation asked Logan County schools to refrain from prohibiting the distribution of Bibles on school grounds. It was at Auburn Elementary in Logan County where one parent claims a small red Gideon's Bible similar to this one sparked controversy. In November, my son came home with a red Gideon Bible that he said was brought into his classroom by a man with a box and the students were told that if they wanted to accept it, they could come up to the front of the class and accept it. Alm says this puts young students in a compromising position. That puts that 10 year old in a position where they have to choose whether or not to go up to the front of the class and take a Bible that their family may not practice, they may not read that Bible. That's a position she says no child should be left in. It's not about religion, it's about providing an opportunity to learn in a safe environment where children are not isolated or ostracized due to their cultural differences. And to the Kentucky Equality Federation, it's a legal issue. They say the distribution of religious material in a public school violates Section 5 of the Kentucky Constitution. You know, first of all, that's not legal, it's not constitutional. But even if it were, if they can legally hand out one religious uh, publication, then they can also hand out other religious publications. After Alms notified the Kentucky Equality Federation of her concerns, they requested the school system prohibit any further distribution of the Bibles. And for now, Palmer says they're awaiting a response from Logan County Schools and will take further legal action if the requests are not met. I spoke with the superintendent of Logan County Schools today, and he declined to comment other than to say they are working with the school board's attorney to evaluate their options and plan to respond to the Kentucky Equality Federation with their decision soon.